Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the preview predicted lineup: Crystal Palace against Arsenal tomorrow night. And um, yeah, it's uh, another Premier League game, and it's another one where you're thinking, too little, too late. The season is done and dusted. There is the slightest, slimmest, most minute opportunity of Arsenal still scraping into the Europa League places, but we have to rely heavily on other teams completely falling apart in the final two games. Now, this one is going to be an interesting game because two reasons. One, fans are allowed back in the stadium. Reduced capacity, but there's still going to be fans, home fans. Now, Crystal Palace, they are notorious for making noise at Sellers Park. So I predicted it to be a really good atmosphere. And another thing, is that Crystal Palace have announced that Roy Hodgson will be stepping down at the end of the season. So it's going to be the final home game for Roy Hodgson. That might make things a little bit more difficult for us because they're going to raise their levels big time. They're going to want to go out on a high at home final game in front of fans. Roy Hodgson, last home game and everything else. Now... I'm looking at the current table and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, whatever you do, Arsenal, do not, please do not get into this European Conference League or whatever the hell it is. No, 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 no. Please do not get into that. Because if we do, oh my word. If you think some of the teams in the earlier rounds of the Europa League are poor, then my word. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, but a club the size of Arsenal should not be competing in a competition like that. We can't go from 21 years straight in the Champions League to a few seasons in the Europa to that. Really? It's a competition that's being made for teams that don't get that opportunity of playing in Europe. They never make the Champions League, the Europa League. It's their big moment, their opportunity. And Arsenal could be falling into that. Really? That's embarrassing, I'm sorry, but it is. And um, that's the harsh reality of where we are at the moment. So if we're going to finish anywhere, just make sure it's outside of that place. If we're going to, you know, get into Europe, it has to be a Europa League place, which I believe is going to be fifth and sixth place. Um, Leicester winning the FA Cup final meant that, um, you know, that's going to be available. I think as long as they do get in the Champions League place or there's so many permutations. I've seen so many different ways around it, but fifth is guaranteed. And I think sixth is as well. Oh, no, sixth is actually because winning the FA Cup, is a guaranteed place so yeah i remember reading somewhere that fifth and sixth is what's going to be so if we can finish you know sixth place somehow then yeah fine but seventh or i think it's seventh and you get into that other european competition nah 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 nah, nah. not for me no 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 but yeah like i said it's going to be you know, an interesting game. I don't know how this is going to go or what to predict. I think that Crystal Palace are going to be really up for this game for the reasons that I've already stated. Um, and Arsenal is just going through the motions. Last two games, get them over and done with. There's no, you know, final to look forward to next week like there should have been. And um, we just need to hurry up, get it over with, you know, go into pre-season, strip this squad apart. Get rid of what we don't want. Bring in what we do need. And see if the Cronkies actually back the manager and give him some money to spend. So, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Um, David Luiz, from what I heard, is still not available. Granite Xhaka is still 50-50. But we don't need to rush any of these players back. We don't need to play them. It is what it is. We go with what we've got. And, um, yeah, this is the uh, starting eleven that I am going to go with. In goal, Matt Ryan, give him another opportunity. I think that he's a player that needs to, you know, sign another contract at the end of the season. Bring him in as a permanent understudy because I think he's been excellent, you know, since he's came from uh, Brighton. 
And I've got no issues at all with him, you know, being the number two at Arsenal. Um, back four, right-hand side, I'm going to go with Cedric. Don't know what's happened to him of late. Seems to have, um, you know, been completely and utterly taken out of the side by Mikel Arteta. But maybe this is a game that he will get to play in. We'll wait and see. Um, right centre-back, Rob Holden. Like I said, David Luiz is not available, so I think this is a pretty straightforward one. Um, left centre-back, I'm going to go with Gabriel. Could be Pablo Mari, but my preference would be Gabriel. Um, thought he's done all right last time out, but yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Left um, back, and Kieran Tierney um, comes into the side. I think he's fit and he's available. He's ready to so play him. And I feel that now he is available. Go back to the original four, then the three. I don't think this is a game that you need to set up in a three. It's not like Chelsea. It's Crystal Palace. We can't be going with, you know, five in defence effectively against Crystal Palace. You've got to go and attack these type of teams. And it's as simple as that for me. Um, midfield two, first of all, Thomas Partey. And uh, very good last time out against Chelsea. And that's what we need to see more of. And it's very promising when you see that kind of performance. You know, when you think about the level we can get to next season and, um, you know, his performance at Old Trafford against Manchester United. Those are the kind of level of performances that we need from Thomas Partey. Simple. Um, alongside him, Mohamed El Nenny. And um, yeah, I thought he'd done all right next to Thomas Partey against Chelsea. But he's going to have to be a little bit more expansive, I think, um, against Crystal Palace. It won't be so backs against the wall, or at least I hope not. Um, no Granite Xhaka, don't want to see Danny Sobias in an Arsenal shirt again. So, simple for me, Mohamed El Nini. Now the attacking three. First of all, on the right-hand side, Nicola Pepe. And I think that he's a player over the last, you know, couple of months who can hold his head high. He's somebody that has, you know, actually been performing and doing what's required. And, um, yeah, I play him. It's as simple as that. Um, in the number 10, Emil Smith-Rowe, I thought he was excellent against Chelsea and I would keep him in there, to be fair. Um, one of the shining lights of the season, breakthrough you know, season for him and he's got a very, very big future ahead of him. And um, for this game, yeah, straightforward for me. Um, on the left-hand side, Gabriel Martinelli, another opportunity to see him, another opportunity for him to get minutes. Um, and yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I think that energy against a team like Crystal Palace could be massive. And um, it's exactly what we need. So that's what I'm going to go with. Up front, main striker, Alexandre Lacazette. Back from his injury, had a few little cameo appearances off the bench. I would just simply rotate this one around. I would play him, um, put Aubameyang on the bench. And it's that simple, really. So, yeah, there we go. That is my 11. Matt Ryan in goal. Cedric holding Gabriel Tierney. Partey Elneny. Pepe Emil Smith-Rowe. Gabriel Martinelli. And Alexandre Lacazette. I think that is a very, very strong lineup. Strong enough to beat Crystal Palace. We do have to be careful. They can be a dangerous side on their day. Um, the fact that they will have fans back in Sellers Park. The fact that this is Roy Hodgson's last game, um, you know, at home before he, you know, steps down as manager. Um, so I think it will be a difficult one as they're going to be really up for the game. But it's a chance to get three points and it's a chance to maybe. Just maybe get one of those uh, Europa League places and a bit of a smash and grab, but we will wait and see. So if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video and I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.